Hi all. So I am again here with this topic. So that is uh, what is the select and omit criteria in logical file. So let me tell you what it is. So we basically use this uh, select or omit criteria to select some sort of uh, records from the physical file uh, to show them in LF or to omit some records or uh, the combination of both that is select or omit. So it can be of various type that is uh, you can say uh, access path select and omit or dynamic select and omic, omit or select and omit based upon the open query file but here we will be discussing the select and omit in the logical file which is created so which is basically depends upon the access path because it gets created before uh, the, the actual execution so we have those objects like lf uh, uh, with us so let's discuss so I have created this file where we have these fields having character or numeric field this is a pf so I just inserted few records in this you can see these are the five records having student id a b student is 2 10 11 12 named these ones to age like this 40 and is to class is this so now i am going to create the select or omit criteria so let me show you one by one so this is so the first prerequisite for select and omit criteria is to have some key fields in the file so if you do not have key fields in the file then you have to specifically mention that this file does not have a key so you will be mentioning k as star none if you do not mention this and you your file does not have a key then you will be getting the errors during compilation your lf won't get compiled so you have to mention if your file does not have any key k as a star none here and then you can apply the select or omit criteria if your file have key you don't need to specifically mention this that key is star none you will be specifying that key here now you can either select or omit record so i'll be showing you all the things one by one we have different keywords which we can use with this that is compare so with compare we can use like equal greater than less than uh, like this or we have range keyword we have which which range can be used with numeric and uh, this can be used with anyone like numeric or character and we have uh, another one that is values which also can be used with the uh, numeric or character but range must be used with the numeric only so these uh, keywords can be specified there is one more keyword all keyword which can only be specified with the omit uh, in the lf and uh, which cannot be, uh, be specified with the select so all can be specified only with the omit now let me show you so this file has those records and i am five records and i am selecting student id and comparing equal to a means i am selecting student id a so let me compile this just do run query on this so we have student id a so in lfa we will have one record only so you can see student id a is present here now just move on to the second example so here i specified the key so i don't need to mention key as star none here so I specified the key as to ID and I am selecting any other field. So this is possible. Yes, we can select any other field or omit any other field. The main important thing is the file must have any key or no key that is star none. 
so s student name select student name equals to this one so yes we have this record so if we do run query on this we will have student id a because student id a has this name and which gets selected here let's move on to the third example so here again you can see key is specified as standard but here i am using omit all so when i specified omit all and there is no select clause then what happens means all the records are omitted so you won't see any records in this lf as i showed you so let's move on to the next example so this example also have no key but here you can see there are select and omit both used with this lf now there is one more important thing that is and or or operation condition you can say so whenever we do not specify s or o in this position where we specify r or key that is 17th position so in that case that means if we do not specify any s or o then that means it is and condition if we specify s or o it's or so basically these two conditions are in or so select this or omit all so it will omit all and then select this so it will have only record with student id a so this is an or condition what kd so you can see we have one record just move on to the next example so again key stun i can specify any key so here you are seeing two selects so this select is basically an and operation because i do not specify s again so if i would have specified s then it would be or operation select student id this equal to 29 and is to name equals to rock key so both the conditions must met if in case any of the condition want met we won't get the results so let's compile this and we will get the no results is to 9 because rock key 2 is associated with 11 id so we are not getting any results because this is an and condition let's move on to the next example the same example as q and a for te so here we specified the this is an and condition here specified the correct value is to 11 with rocky 2 so let's uh, compile this and if we see this we will be getting the s211 record so here you would you would be seeing the compare operation which i am using so i am not using less than or equal to with this compare because less than or greater than or less than equal to or greater than equal to with this because these are the character ones so if it would have numeric i would have used them so i am using equal comp with compare you can see i am using values so i can specify the values as well with this keyword let's move on to the next example now you will be seeing two select three selects basically so these two selects are with and condition that is to id and to name must be this and select this so we will be basically selecting record this one and is and the record having to each equals to 40 that can be many records but let's compile that was f i think yes that was g so you can see there are two records selected one is uh, the first two and conditions and the second one is associated with the is to h40 that is in or condition as we saw here 
as we see as we can see here so this is basically an and condition and this is the or condition now here you can see the same way we specified the these two in and so that we would get some results out of it and then in or condition i am specifying the storage so i am basically selecting this record or omitting the record with 40 so i will get a result from this and once i will remove the record of s2 h40 i'll get all other records so if i would do i don't have a need to this i would get the result of this and from this only so let me show you this so here you can see i i just omitted the student age 40 and i'm getting all other ages even you are getting that s211 rocky 2 so there is no requirement of that if i look at the original data you can see that this record is omitted and others are selected now let's move on to the next example where i am selecting the student class so here i am showing showing the uh, demo for range keyword where i specified the range as 1 till 3 so i am selecting a student class from 1 till 3 so let's compile this i can see only three records of a student 1 2 3 which are lies in this range and the original data is 1 2 3 4 5 so i'm not getting 4 and 5 so the next example is like this here i'm omitting that a student class 1 till 3 range so i'll be getting 4 and 5 So let's check the day. so we will be getting 4 and 5 so you have seen that how we will be using select and omit criteria in logical file so there uh, we came to know about the select and omit how we can specify them in and condition or in or condition and how we will be using the compare keyword uh, the values keyword or the range keyword in that so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time